started yes we are recording option now okay mm. okay why i want to tell you one important thing how to delete a process builder okay <coughs> see uh, yesterday we discussed about some versioning and uh, most of the things will be in uh, inactive mode uh, so uh, what what will what we can do with that inactive mode process uh, builder version how can we delete that let's see okay go for setup process builder okay now i have some previously uh, existing process builders see one is active and one is inactive so active ones we cannot delete okay said i told you if the process builder is active we cannot delete we have to make it inactive first and then we can delete here you can delete. see the delete button right yes so if you click on delete it will ask for the confirmation just click on confirm it will be deleted like this okay so here i have many oh. many options i can delete mm. but so you mean to say only the particular version will be gets deleted just only the inactive the ones will inactive, be inactive deleted, be deleted. active mm. ones you cannot delete here first we have to deactivate then we can delete okay okay fine now yesterday what we have discussed yeah. so we discussed about this scenario right oh what is the scenario yeah so if the price of the mobile is 300 to 500 then show promotional message now today the requirement got changed okay now the client wants to change the requirement do some enhancement okay so this is the enhancement so what is enhancement show quantity field on object and when quantity is less than or equal to 2 then show the above message so in the last requirement what the client said if the price is 300 price. to 500 then show the message but uh -huh. here he want to change the requirement completely he want to make this thing on the quantity uh -huh. okay if the quantity is more than 2 let's say the if the user is buying to more than 2 quantity like 3 to not 2 also 3 and above then thank you for shopping message should be displayed in the discount info field okay so oh. here yesterday we have created some some process builder right so now mm. let's do one thing let's deactivate that and delete it and start creating all these things in one go we will create oh. this one and this one oh. along with the price and quantity also we will include mm yes okay okay <clears throat> so how to deactivate an existing active process builder yesterday we have created this one right you have to click on this and this will be displayed the process builder name now we have to make it deactivate mm. confirm then go back to process builder now delete it let's delete that okay mm. let's create from scratch okay okay yes now we have this quantity field also right in our 
object yesterday only we created quantity also but we haven't used that yesterday today we are going to use the quantity field okay oh. okay so you understood the requirement first first of all tell me you all all understood what we are yeah trying? now if both condition should satisfy and it should get no, satisfied no, no. see our customer is now focusing on this condition Oh, okay, first one. Okay. If the quantity is less than or equal to two, then show the above message. Irrespective of the price, if the user enters the quantity as two, then we, then we will show this message. If you buy two or more mobiles, if the quantity is more than two, then show that thank you for shopping. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Got okay, it. now the requirement is changed. Irrespective of price, if the quantity is more than two, uh -huh. then no, thank you for shopping. Then oh. if the quantity is less than two or two, then you have to show this message. If you buy more than this one, you, you will get this. 24. Actually, this is this somewhat looks like meaningless requirement, right? Why mm -hmm. if the price is 300 to 500, then why mm -hmm. do you want to, why you are asking user to buy two mobiles? Yeah. To get the discount without entering the quantity. Oh, right. Correct. Correct. So okay, we will keep this condition, this condition, all the conditions, and see how the process builder will work. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now you guys should tell me how to create a process builder. I don't know how to create a process builder now. No. First, actually, we need to. Create the objects over yeah. there to check the quantity and all. The yeah, object and everything is there. Now I am in the setup. Now I am in process builder. Okay. I click on this process okay. builder. Okay, new. Yeah. Okay, new. Okay, right. Okay, ignore this message. Okay. Okay, what kind of name shall we give here? Like Samsung uh, mobile spot discount info or something. Quantity. Oh, no, quantity discount. Some name which is meaningful. Okay. Hmm. One more mandatory is there. So, what should I select in the process starts when? When it's record the changes. Okay, record changes. I'll select. Okay. Now what should I do? Click on save Click button. On. Okay, now what shall I do? I to add the object. Okay, why should I click on? Add object. Okay. Now what shall I do? The object we need to select that uh, particular object Samsung. Uh. Okay, Samsung mobile. Okay, what shall I select here? Only when the record is created. Only when the record is created. This one or this one? Second one. Second. Uh, second, second. So edited also. Okay, okay save it. What next? Criteria. Criteria. Condition. Okay. What shall I enter here? Twenty. Twenty. The price is less than a one. We are doing right. I'm thinking about only the first one. Quantity is more than two. We will discount of twenty percent. Yeah. Which option should should be selected? Conditions are met. Okay. First, First one. First one. Okay, fine. Now tell okay. me what Please. type of conditions we can set here. Quantity. Quantity. Why quantity directly? Let's keep the existing requirement also. No? Oh. Oh, okay. What shall what price. did you select price. yesterday? Price. Okay. 
a price so uh, equals to is it more greater than greater than greater than uh, or equal here type okay. type is the currency okay what is the value 300 yeah what and add a row add a row okay and again select uh, samsung mobiles price samsung mobile ah uh, sorry in that samsung price price, price. what shall i select the cooperator less than a 100 okay now what shall i select next again now the new uh, condition. condition mm mm quantity quantity what shall i select the condition like uh, like less than 2 or equal to less than or equal i guess yeah less than or equal is 2 less than or equal to relate work here no greater than or equal to 2 right no we have to select less than or equal to only greater than or equal to in the next condition first it is less than or equal to another one more important thing is can the quantity be zero no so we have to again keep this kind of condition also quantity should not zero greater than zero okay now tell me what option shall we select here and or or customize logic and how we have to i guess want to satisfy all the conditions or only first two conditions or third condition what so no we need to satisfy all the uh, four right because we have including uh, the first one as well in this one okay we are selecting all okay fine save now what shall i do now we need to add action okay action what shall i select here so 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 Okay, so update records i guess okay That we are updating records that's fine discount information okay what is this what should i select here record time Select the Samsung record and sort the paper. Select the record related to the Samsung mobile. Oh, I guess first one. Select the mobile record. So what is first one? What is second one? Tell me. First one is uh, we need to select that particular Samsung mobile record. Then the process will get started once uh, we initiate it. Okay. What is second one? we will select only that particular record related to that particular samsung mobile both are same answer <laughs> it's not like that see the first one says that on a record that you are starting this process you want to update on the same record or the second one says you want to update on any other record related to the same object So we want okay. to update on the record that we are working currently, right? Uh, on which the process is started. That's why we choose first option. Okay. 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 We can choose. Okay. Now what shall we do here? Do we want to update any criteria here or? No criteria. Just update the records. 
okay, why why we not uh, enter any criteria here in the actions uh because uh, only when uh, if we give the update uh, records no the all the uh, criteria we have to check and it should uh, go through it and meeting all the conditions you should answer like this since we have already kept the criteria in the previous uh, previous uh, scenario on the previous uh, step here okay. we don't have to give any steps here this is just an action in the oh. action state in the action statement we don't have to enter any criteria just to oh. enter an action what do you want to information here like this String. now what is that value in it enter like this okay save okay this is fine so is it enough now mm. now actually we need to add uh, one more i guess right and one more uh, action we need to tell one more uh, one more requirement we have second requirement yes. what is this if the quantity okay. is more than 2 then show thank you for shopping message in the discount info field mm. okay mm. now here in the bottom see once this let's say this is the first condition if condition if this is there do this action else the it goes to the second option right then it will look for the second option and then do this action that we are going to create now tell me what shall i do i'll add a criteria here okay what is the criteria name quantity more than two enter thanks now what shall i select conditions are met or any other same process what you have done on the above we are doing in the below oh okay okay we need to do we it we are adding right? another criteria oh, okay but it's Multiple showing as a box we can right? create we can create as many criteria as we want until our requirement satisfies okay but but the thing is it's coming in the below right it's saying some false ah, that's what i that's told what no if if the first statement is uh so the first statement is satisfied quantity is uh, less than 2 actually we have to give it as less than 2 then this condition will satisfy and do mm -hmm. this action if quantity is more than 2 then whatever we are writing now mm. will be satisfied and uh, do that action okay. now tell me what shall we do what type what field we shall we select here earlier we are we have created a criteria and action for quantity less than 2 now what shall we select here quantity greater than greater than only greater than 2 mm. now shall we add that quantity greater than 0 here no because we have already given in the first stage itself right so 2 is obviously greater than 0 so not required to give okay yeah okay now only one condition is enough here just click on save now what type of action shall we do here we need to update the records okay action name update Thanks, Mr. Okay, what type of record type? Same record? Mm. What type of record? Same, I guess. This one is also same. Yeah, we are doing the same action on the same yeah. record. Just click Cut. first one. Yeah. Okay, now what shall we do here? Uh, we need to add quantity. This is the action. What action you want to do here? Oh, here. Uh, 
criteria update them no criteria just update the records so here also we can keep it the same right because we are performing the same activity here also discount information okay what shall we enter here if the quantity is more than two what is our requirement thank you message should come oh, thank thanks for shopping, for shopping. Hmm. So what shall we select string or field reference? What shall we select here? Mm, formula string field reference so string only. String. Okay. Now I'll save it. Okay, now I think I have almost covered all the requirements. Mm. Now tell me what is the next action? We need to activate this. Okay, how can I activate this? Uh, I have by clicking the activate button, you can activate this button. Okay, activate, confirm. Now Pradeep, I want to hear from Pradeep. Tell me Pradeep, what is next action? We have to check the cases for uh, work, working of test builder, the process builder. So we want to test whether our process builder is working correctly or not. Uh, right? And also we need to list the cases. Right? List the cases. Uh, what is that case? Cases. I mean to say test that the cases. Um, okay, you are telling about the right cases. Uh, I am not able to hear you properly. Whether the items are less than two. Okay, you want to uh, you want to define some criteria or oh, test case test case criteria. Okay, tell me. Uh, kind, kind of thing. Uh, Whether the quantity is less than two. Quantity is less than two. Oh. In the first one only, we can check uh, less or equal. In the second, more than two, uh, greater than two, and price condition. Price condition, I don't think no value here, but still we can check. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now what is other one? Egg. We'll see this one last, the last, mm. okay? But first three we'll see. Okay, now what shall I do? I'm going to this Samsung mobile object. Clicking on new button. I'm entering some name. Now we enter some price 200. Yes. Quantity one. as one. One. Or let's do this. Uh, let's enter the quantity as 350. And quantity is one. No, no, no. Let's keep as 200. Quantity is one. Now, what will happen if I save it? What message we will see here? First, the discount information, the 20%. Information will appear. It's not coming. Hmm. Why? So the quantity we have entered. Um, we created we have, five. We have given and condition. It should satisfy both the uh, mm -hmm. values. I guess we can try R, right? It should. Uh, if it is even R. Okay. Okay. 
actually yeah that's why it is not showing you are correct we have entered 200 and the quantity is one so this one is not matching the price condition is not matching both are false um, so it is showing like this now let's edit and see Navin, Navin, one second. Yeah, tell me. Uh, in that uh, edit button, okay, it's already displayed. While uh, entering the record, display information text box was empty, right? Which text box? Discount information, yeah, empty. Now I made it to 300 and quantity is same. Uh, oh. Before before process builder running if will it be overrated you just go to new record creating the new record for okay. this only okay here uh, mm -hmm. enter something in discount information no oh. Ah, price will be around uh, 350 entity. So, if the process builder runs, the particular uh, DC discount information overrides or not? Yeah, it should do. Let's save it. See. Yes. Okay. Okay, these two things you are checked now. Let's check the third one, third condition. Price I'll keep as 100 and quantity as 4. Zero. Oh, okay. Okay, four. Fine. Hmm. What is this? Thank you. Thank you for shopping. Hmm. So the third, second condition is triggered here. Yes. Irrespective of the price. Uh, only condition is matched. Yes. Working correctly? Yes. Okay. Now, let's try to create some other uh, record. No price, whatever we want. No price, let's keep the price as zero and quantity as zero. Yeah. So let's say what is the use of creating such record in the system if the price is zero and quantity is zero why do you want to enter the record information in the system that means there is no purchase happened right yeah it will be null right it should it should be show null or something like that. see this is a default scenario or mm. some invalid scenario mm. where the user may enter zero price and zero quantity. In hmm. that case, what shall we do? So we can put on one more condition like uh, hmm. for that particular thing and we, uh, we can uh, mention to perform that yes. particular action. It is in real time scenario. It is like customer visiting the shop and uh, not purchasing anything. He left okay, the shop. If you don't don't purchase the item. Don't enter into the system. Why are you entering? No, just to capture and uh, check with uh, customer to get an opportunity. This is like a buy order. Let's say. Let's say this is like a order. You are capturing. You are filling the uh, purchase okay. details. This is like a purchase okay. detail form. This kind of things you will enter. So when user tries to enter such uh, such details like price zero and quantity zero, now we want to we have to warn the users who is entering or who created the user that, but this is not the correct data. Please modify like that. Yes. Right. It should validate. Uh, so now we will add one more condition to it. Within the same discount information, let's uh, add one more condition. Uh, let's show one more message. Let's say uh, something data is wrong. Please modify like that. Okay. Now, how we can do that? Now, earlier we have seen how to delete a process builder, 
how to create a new process now let's see how to edit a process builder okay earlier we were discussing about yesterday we discussed about the versions right yeah the cloning and versions right correct now how we can create the versions now for the we need to go to process builders now what object we are working samsung mobile so how many are there only one is there just click on this now what shall we do i guess we can clone this okay clone version of a current process Hello. Hello. Is there Navin? Anga here. Hello. Yeah, nice. Why it it is getting disconnected? Sure. Yesterday it won't happen, right? Yesterday it didn't happen. Yeah. Oh. Okay, no problem. So what we are doing? We are trying to clone it, but there is a big mistake that we are doing here. Okay, we cannot directly go and clone it. Okay, because it will not allow us to directly edit the edit the process builder. So what we have to do first, we have to deactivate before. Okay. If you want to edit any process builder, first and foremost thing is we have to yeah. deactivate that process builder first. Okay. So only what? How can we deactivate it by clicking on this button? Click on deactivate because why we do this while while we are modifying this uh, process builder. Let's say if some users get create create some data, you know that that users will be impacted, right? That the data will be impacted. So better good practice is to deactivate first. And then go for the clone. Okay. I guess Pradeep has had a doubt. Tell me. Uh, 
for how long time the process particular process builder will be act in the activate mode means uh, if it is there any manual deactivation to be done or uh, for a period of time it will be get deactivated no 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 it will be in active mode until and someone makes it inactive Thompson. or deactivate ah then only it will be deactivated okay oh, see you can have hundreds of versions but only one will be in active mode the latest one ah uh-huh. or if you want to in real time you may do a lot of uh, versioning and then lot of uh, enhancements you might have done but let's say for the last uh, for the latest enhancement you, you have to roll back the changes instead of deleting all the things you can deactivate the existing one and activate the older version maybe that could be possible okay okay now let's see how to edit it editing means directly we cannot come here and edit this information we have to clone it right i am just clicking on clone now what is this saying version of current process or new process so why we are going for version version is select first you said versioning so why why we are going for versioning because ours is very little change we don't have to go for the new process here right very small uh-huh. change or enhancement we are doing here just we are adding some another criteria right uh-huh. so let's we better to use the versioning why we are going for uh-huh. the new process if there is a huge change complete requirement change in that cases we will go for this but this is again not recommended regularly uh-huh. mostly versioning will be used okay uh-huh. Okay, let's just click and click on Save button. So new version is added. So now I am in the latest version. Now I can add the condition. Okay, what oh. condition shall we add now in the below? Um, like for this uh, quantity thing, right? Our default criteria zero. Okay. Quantity will be zero. So shall we? If you want to add any, do we? Do you want us to add any condition here? The conditions uh, actually we haven't. We don't have any conditions over here, right? So what shall I do? So no criteria. Just execute the actions we can select. why because it's a null value now oh, see that means if the first condition is met we are doing this action uh, or else we are going for second action if this is met then we are doing this action if both of these con- conditions are not met then we are coming to this so here we don't have to add any condition if these two are not matching obviously the third one will execute right So we don't have to keep any specific condition for the default criteria. Just click on save. What action? Update. What we are updating here? Zero quantity default. On which record you want to update? The same record or any other record? Same. Okay. On which field? Now it's for discount information. Hmm. What shall we enter? Zero. You have to warn the user something went wrong, like this. Please correct data like that. We have to mention. Okay. Is it valid statement? the user is entering 0 0 in that case only we are using this criteria right no we can mention like please enter the uh, correct value like that we can mention like whatever your wish please enter valid quantity and price also we can do okay yeah 
or please enter uh, quantity price more than zero like that also you can give okay any if any message any meaningful message as per your requirement you can give okay now click on save now what shall we do now Okay. Do it. Do it. Okay. Okay. Now I am going back to setup process builder. Mm. Now we'll see how many stores one is created. Which one is active? The latest now the one. Now the latest one. Okay. 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 Let's test this. Clicking on new button. So, zero, zero. I'm clicking on save. Is it coming? Yes. Yeah. Correct. Yes. All conditions satisfied now? Yes. So guys, this is all very, very important things that we discussed. This is all like uh, some basic level things that we have done. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, we should also try to learn some advanced things. Okay. okay. So what is advanced here? Advanced level details means what is this? Here we have some advance. What is mm. this? And here, if you look at here, here in, if you look at on the object level, there is again advance. What mm -hmm. is this recursion? Allow process to evaluate a record multiple times in a single save operation. What is this? Means uh, it might perform that particular activity for that particular thing repeatedly. Okay, repeatedly how many times? That actually don't know exactly the count how many times it should perform. Okay. Let's say you started some action, some action. Huh? Or let's say started some process that is calling some action then again recursion again that that will be started again started new another time and again some action okay. that action will call some another process builder yeah. or it may call another action another it, it may again call some flow or workflow or like this so on it continues repeatedly oh. it will be like round and round and round 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 it will be i think we should mention for how many number of times mm. round 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 it will it will repeat in the same loop it is nothing but like a loop you guys are aware of loops i think mm. it will go as okay but we have to stop it somewhere right mm. recursion is something it will be nothing but rotating until the condition is satisfied or some uh, uh. recursion is nothing but we are like we are we have to take pencil only i think <laughs> Mm -hmm. We are doing, 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 running in the same loop, and mm. if there is no exit, 
there is no end for this it should come out of the loop right hmm so that's why sales force thought that this is a problem and then they are allowing maximum of six recursions only only six okay only six times only that loop will run after that it will exit and stop the process okay okay uh, i i read that earlier it was like five times hmm. five loops. now i think they have they have changed it to uh, extended it to six this is the standard thing that we cannot change it this is being implemented and developed by salesforce only we cannot modify these loops how many times we want to run the loop that is again completely dependent on salesforce if you want to make it to seven or eight it's not possible okay what if you want four loops what what if we want only four recursive that's your until until uh, what based on your criteria only it will run but that is again for six times only below six times any number of runs you can run the loop more than six it is not possible we can yes. modify yes. below six yes oh, fine okay so this is some advanced recursion is about this one so what is this recursion how it will work and all tomorrow we will discuss okay one shall we, do we have any questions for today uh, no today so was actually pretty clear so we will try out this one sir what points we need to consider for advanced process builder advanced option is do you want to execute the action only when the specified changes are made to record we can also plan the process builder action to happen in future using this advanced builder advanced options we can schedule the actions to perform in the future time like we can schedule the timing or when some record is created generated those kind of actions also we can see so when we can use the schedule actions with all details tomorrow we will see okay okay schedule action is a different part right like scheduling that particular process it's more often it's all covers under advanced level process builder only don't worry okay. we'll discuss okay. tomorrow fine Okay. Avin. Yeah. Avin. Yes. Yes. Can you see the previous session notepad files? I'm pasting it every day. Maybe today I have not added. I'll add. I'll add. I'll add. I started this session. Yeah. Fine. Okay. So. Sure. Fine. Mostly, if you go through the recording, you will mm-hmm. see that information here also. But anyways, I am adding that in the shared drive. And one more thing. Yes. Ah, uh, while entering the value of currency, there is a dollar symbol we are getting, right? Yes. Ah, uh, could it be changed for a different font like rupee font? Pound font like that. Is that that we can do, but not uh, not with this uh, manually. Ah. We have. Uh, we will discuss that all the topic. Okay, how it will come? It is. It will come based on the user profile. So by default, the user's profile will be tagged to the currency in the in every user record. We have currency. field in the user information there if you have us value usd then usd will shown in all your uh, currency fields there if you have euro then it will show in euro if it is rupee indian rupee then rupees will show means if, if you want to change that the profile should be get edited i'll show you directly now this is the next topic but however, since you asked i'm showing you
I guess in the arc settings we need to do it, right? The currency change and all. I'm not sure. Org setting, I'm not sure. I'm mostly, this is depends on the user information only. 99% we will deal with this only. Because, see, if at org level also, if it changes, it I'm not it, 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 Maybe it, it, it may show to other available. Here we don't have currency in the in the real time in our project we will work right there you can see that value. Oh, yeah, we able to change it right. Sorry. So we have the option to change that. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Definitely we have option. Okay. The org level thing I'm not sure we will check. If there is a possibility how to do that, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. The next topics will be this user user related security related things. Very, very vast topic. Once you complete process builder flows and uh, the security, uh, almost 85% uh, will be done. The admin part. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No worries. We will learn slowly and uh, without any hurry. Okay. Oh, fine. Sure, sure. Okay, guys. So, see you tomorrow at seven o'clock. Okay. Okay, no. Thanks. Yeah, no, no. Thanks. Thank you. Bye.